Hello and welcome to the first stage of the 2023 Asia Cup here in Chinese Taipei. I'm Karen Bashir and I'm here with you for two sessions of live archery in the city of Taoyuan, right at the northern tip of the country. And in this first session, we're focused on the compound medal matches. We begin with three gold medal matches. As you can see, it's just a little overcast here. But uh, very little wind. As we take a glance down the 50 meter range. There's a bit of a giveaway there. Compound women's team gold medal match coming up first. And you can see for yourselves who's in the lineup. Singapore beat uh, Thailand 215 to 198 for the bronze medal. So now, in just a few seconds, it'll be time to decide who's going to take gold and silver between India and Kazakhstan. That little wind indicator there in the middle of that scoreboard just showing the wind's just blowing out. It's very gentle, the breeze, but uh, blowing both uh, left and right and from behind and towards the archers. I wonder if that's going to play a little bit of a part in the outcome today. Of course, uh, compound archery shot over 50 meters and uh, with the mechanical aid in the bow, the wind doesn't affect the arrows quite as much as it does in recurve archery. So we're about to get underway, as you can hear, India versus Kazakhstan. The judges and the coaches are coming out onto the shooting line. And we're just a few moments away from meeting the athletes for this gold medal match. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the athletes for the Kampong Women Team gold medal match. <laughs> so here they come. Time for the introduction. The gold medal match athletes in the compound women's team competition here at the first stage of the Asia Cup. So there we go, athletes uh, introduced uh, Pani Kao, Pragati and Aishwara Sharma up for India. Kazakhstan line up with Victoria Lian, Roxana Yunyasova and Adal Vizek and Binova. So four ends of archery, six arrows per end per team and it's a cumulative score. So up to the shooting line first, it's Kazakhstan and Roxana 
Yun Yusava. Sixen Benova going in second. And this is Leanne. So we switch over to India. Aishwara Sharma shooting first for them. This is Parnit Carr shooting in the second position. Pragati completing the first rotation for India. So we switch back for the second rotation. Oh. Holding on a little bit there. So a provisional 53 set by Kazakhstan in the first end. Opportunity for a handsome lead here for India. That's a solid finish from uh, Pragati. 57 plays 53. The score will keep building through the uh, match, of course. Uh, but that's a solid start from India. India had a bye through the uh, quarterfinals before beating uh, Singapore 217 to 212 in the semi-finals. Kazakhstan had to beat Hong Kong in the quarterfinals, which they did quite comfortably, 217 to 196. And then they beat Thailand in the semi-finals, 219 to 206. Uh, Kazakhs find themselves uh, a little bit behind here. Plenty of support for both teams, as you can see. So just waiting for confirmation of the scores. Uh, very first arrow from Kazakhstan. Possibly could get marked down from a, a nine to an eight. All teams looking very relaxed here. The, this is uh, the last 
uh, event before the, the new season starts on April the 1st, but it is a world ranking event. A lot of the teams uh, have sent their, their B fold, if you like, uh, B teams rather than the uh, A teams. Gives us a good chance to look at the uh, up and coming athletes from uh, these Asian countries. So the score's confirmed, 57 to India, leading Kazakhstan by four. And as always, the trailing team shoots first. So up to the line, it's uh, Yun Yusufa for end number two. Well, that just clipped the line. See the wind blowing in the face of Pragati, but uh, didn't fuss her at all. Six in Binova holding on here. You can see the wind blowing directly at and just getting buffeted a little bit. Eesh. Solid finish for Victoria Liam. Gatti uh, supporting her teammate Cow before stepping up to the line herself. Let's drop some points there, though. So uh, a one point gain for India, provisionally, of course. We have to wait for those scores to be confirmed. But uh, slightly wind affected for both teams at uh, that second end.
Well, they seem to be having a good time, both teams taking turns uh, with their uh, crowd cheers. You have to say, India have taken control of this one halfway through the match. Uh, we'll wait for confirmation, but uh, didn't see too much uh, wrong there. But a provisional score of 112 to 107. India leading this gold medal match against Kazakhstan. So end number three. Yeah, just a little bit of movement, but Yunusova putting it straight into the middle, held on and held her nerve as well. Good return to the shooting line from Sex and Binova. Shot a seven last time she was standing on the shooting line. Oh, it's been up and down from Victoria Lian. So another two-point gain for India halfway through this third end. Nine. Well, you can just see the wind pushing directly into the face of uh, Yunusova. Nine, a good result. Very confident. So big opportunity here for Brigatti to open that lead. Further into the nine. So one six eight provisionally for India. One five nine on our scoreboard, but uh, I think the Kazakhs will be wondering about that uh, fourth arrow. Call nine in the stadium, but. Uh, May well not quite have clipped the line. 
We wait and see. So it is an eight point lead for India. 168 plays 160. They've led from the start and uh, they've opened up that lead through sets, uh, sorry, through ends two and three. Fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-three scored by Kazakhstan versus India's fifty-seven, fifty-five, fifty-six. Just handling the wind a little bit better, India. I have to say, it looks like Kazakhstan have had uh, a little bit of bad luck with the wind, hitting the gusts as they step up to the shooting line a few more times than the Indian team. So end number four of this compound women's gold medal match. India versus Kazakhstan. India have led from the off and have an eight-point buffer going in to the final end. Number four, and it's uh, Roxana Yunusova on the shooting line. <laughs> Nothing to lose here. Pressure off in some respects. So, are we going to see the best end from Kazakhstan? Didn't look happy, and that's why. That's the best three arrows to start from India. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of a hard high five there from the coach. Jackson Binova finishing with a 10. Uh, 54 matches there, uh, best score in an end for a 2.15 finish. Two, uh, 28 available to India and still available to India. Could do it with this arrow and have indeed done it. 
So a 218 for the win. Now, can Pragati get a perfect score in this end for India? Just outside for the 59, but a 227 is a very comfortable margin of victory for India. They've beaten Kazakhstan 227 to 215, and they are the gold medalists here at the first stage of the Asia Cup. Victoria, Victoria, Lian, Roxana, Yunusova, and Adele Zexenbinova. They put up a good fight, but India were just too strong today. And Panik Kaur, Aishwarya Sharma and Pragati are the gold medalists in the compound women's team competition. So India confirmed as winners here of the compound women's team at competition at stage one of the 2023 Asia Cup in Chinese Taipei. Handshakes all round for the Kazakhs who collect this silver medal. And they'll be joined on the podium a little later by Singapore who took bronze. Brilliant start to this compound session here in Taiyuan. So that's the women's compound team sorted out for the podium. Coming up very shortly, we're time for the compound men's gold medal match where India will feature once again. Coming up now, it's time for the Compound Men's Team Gold Medal Match at the first stage of the 2023 Asia Cup here in Chinese Taipei. It's India versus Malaysia. Coaches are out. Let's go down to the field of play for the athlete introductions.
So there we have it, the lineup uh, for India, Gat, Kunderu and Priyanch. For Malaysia, it's uh, Mazuki, Arifin and uh, Arif, or Muhammad Arif. So India in high spirits here in Taiwan. But it'll be Malaysia to shoot first. And up to the shooting line, it's uh, Muhammad. Oh, the long hold paid off there. Power Gat starting things off for India. Has that just clipped the line? Ben Katari Kunderu shooting in the middle position. And this is uh, Priyanch anchoring the team. Right on the buzzer there. There's a little bit of movement there. Whoa. Gat holding on to his nerves there. You can just see uh, the gazebo in the background fluttering around. Mm, that's gone very high. I think he was probably expecting uh, the wind to be a little higher than it actually was. Nice. Both right on time I think we've got a 58 for this Malaysian team well there you hear it 54 provisionally called for India 
Last arrow called a nine, if that's the case. And all the other arrows, of course, are in place. Malaysia will have grasped a four-point lead through this first end. India came through uh, Singapore in the quarterfinals, 228 to 223, and Thailand 223 to 219 in the semis. Malaysia beat the Philippines 230 to 219, followed by Kazakhstan 230 to 229 in a very close encounter. So confirmation of 54 for India, 58 for Malaysia. So it'll be the Indian team to shoot first, and then number two up to the line. Steps up, Pawan Gat. A long hold. Well, Muhammad Arif stepping off the line quickly took quite a bit of time there. Eight. Muhammad Arif in, dropping into the eight for the first time for Malaysia. Mazuki calming the nerves of the Malaysians. And he had 17 seconds left on the countdown clock here. This is going to have to be a quick one. And there you go. That's the result. An eight. India have closed the gap immediately, fighting back straight away. Question is by how much? Nice. 
just clipping the line of both. Well, flying pretty close to the wind in terms of the time. So if all remains as called in venue, Malaysia still lead 1-1-2 to 1-10. So four-point lead has been cut in half, but they still crucially hold the lead at the halfway stage. We're just going to have a look at this uh, fourth arrow from Malaysia. Scored as a nine provisionally. And looks like the scores have been confirmed. That nine remains a nine. Malaysia lead India in the compound men's team gold medal match by 112 to 110 at the halfway stage. And it will be India to step up to the shooting line at the start of end number three. certainly feel the pressure being applied by India here. A grimace there from Priyanch, but uh, it's the best start they've had to an end. Very long hold. It's almost like they're taking turns for the long holds. Nine. So just like that, one point lead. Unorthodox draw from uh, well, the start of the draw from Pawan Gat where he rests uh, the bottom of the bow on his front hip. So India getting better and better. 58 highest score for the end for them. Giving them a 168. Nice. Pressure is on for sure here for the Malaysian team. Well, a 
Suzuki needs a 10 here to hold the lead. And gets it. Well, this is a very intriguing battle now. Malaysia started off with a 58, shot a 54, and now a 56. It's gone the other way around for uh, India. Started with a 54, and have got better since then with a 56 in the second end, a 58. Of course, provisionally, we we'll wait for the confirmation from the target judges, but they're just getting better and better. They trail by four after the first end, and then the Indians cut that in half in the second, and they've cut it in half again in the third. So 168 for the Indian team, a 169 for Malaysia as we go into end number four. It's an intriguing contest. Scores confirmed then. Malaysia have led from the start, but they've had that lead eroded by the Indian team. Who will shoot first in end number four. I've got to say, fancy the Indians to at least draw level, and we could then face a shoot off. the shooting line, the unorthodox style of Pavan Ghat for India. You can hear the coach knew that was a good one right from the start. Now can the Malaysians hold their nerve? Mohamed Arif, Jawadi up on the line. Again, a long hold from him, but produces a nine. Arafin keeping Malaysia just in the lead. Oh, that's a lovely shot as well. That could be the gold medal match winner there from Mo de Mazuki. Pressure really on the Indians now. Priyanka could really do with a 10 here to give the Indians a chance. Oh. 
Best shot from him of the match so far. 2.25, the target set. 2.28 available to the Malaysians, and they're quite capable of it. Longer hold, but that's three tens in a row from Muhammad Arafin. So, an eight for the shoot off, a nine or more, and Malaysia will take gold here in Chinese Taipei. And it's a nine right on the buzzer as well. A 57 shot in the final end for the Malaysians. And uh, what an intriguing battle that was. But a 2.26-2.25 win for Malaysia over India. But boy, did India fight back after going four points down in the first end. But Malaysia held their nerve all the way through that match to take gold. Mohamed Arif, Mohamed Arifin and Mode Mazuki will be standing on top of the podium. Just a little bit later on. That is Arif. It's got, he's got the name Jawadi on his back, but that is uh, Muhammad Arif Jawadi. A great match there for the Malaysians, showing a lot of grit and determination. India showed they've got a great spirit as well, fighting back. But in the end, it wasn't quite enough, and Malaysia will be on top of the podium in the men's competition. So there we have it, uh, gold for Malaysia in the compound men's team competition here in Taiwan. India with silver and Kazakhstan with the bronze.
Let's welcome judges and coaches to the field of play. Well, coming up next, it's the compound mixed team gold medal match. India have already secured the bronze medal in this competition. And we'll find out who's going to take gold and silver in a matchup between Kazakhstan and Thailand. Judges and coaches out on the shooting line. So let's go down to the field of play for those athlete introductions. So there we go, Kazakhstan going to line up with Roxana Yunyusova and Andrei Chichin. Thailand with uh, Kanuk Napas, Kyle Chompu and Ratan Adonai Wangtana. So it will be Thailand to shoot first and it looks like Wangtana is going to lead the line. One male, one female athlete. Still four ends with only four arrows per end in the mixed team competition. Ratan Adonai Wangtana will get the gold medal match underway. Kanak Mappas, Kawe Chompu, female athlete on the Thai team, shooting second. Looked a little nervy. The result was good. So Roxana Yun Yusufa up first for Kazakhstan. And here is Andre Chichin. And nothing between the teams. Going to the second rotation now. Just started to get the countdown and uh, pushed things out to an eight for a 37 for Thailand. Countdown clocks both running down to the wire. And the net result is 37s through the first end. Okay, 
You see the nerves there on uh, Koei Chompu on the right. Feeling the pressure. So as I said, this, the, most of the countries have sent their second tier of athletes to give some experience on the range in uh, televised competition. So uh, they're getting the, the full run of things. 37 apiece between Kazakhstan and Thailand. So with all things level, it will be Wong Tana from Thailand to set things up in end number two. A bit more composed this time. Chump who scored an eight at the end of the first end. So nine this time. Countdown clock already begun. Gets the arrow away for a nine, but you could hear how close to the buzzer that was. And a 56, sorry, a 76 there for... Uh, I'm just checking my mouth. 75, in fact, for uh, Kazakhstan. So 38s provisionally called for both teams. They shot 37s in the first, 38s in the second to leave things all square on 75 apiece at the halfway stage of this compound mixed team gold medal match between Kazakhstan and Thailand. Wait for uh, confirmation of the scores. But, uh, just like that, we know that things are... As we thought, and it will be Thailand to shoot first again in end number three.
pressure applied then by the Thai team. Side from Chichin. Again, the countdown clock running close. Another 38 for Thailand. Five seconds to go here. Gets the arrow away and gets it into the 10. Uh, this is an incredible match now because uh, it looked like Thailand had broken away halfway through uh, that third end. But uh, if my maths is right, Kazakhstan has stolen the lead here. Just wait for a confirmation, but uh, 39 for Kazakhstan, another 38 for Thailand, which means that uh, Kazakhstan will go into the final end with a one-point lead. confirmation and number four of this very interesting gold medal match in the compound mixed team competition Kazakhstan now one point down sorry Thailand one point down to Kazakhstan and the Thai team will shoot first Junius are not so happy with that one. Clips to line to hold that slender one point lead. Two arrows left for each team here. Pops it into the 10 for another 38. And a 151 finish. 153 available to Kazakhstan. Right. 
Young Yusuf into the nine. So a 10 required for the win. A nine will mean a shoot off. Chin Chin on the line. Oh, when the pressure was on, he absolutely nailed the center of the target. A 152 plays 151 in a very, very close gold medal match. But it's Kazakhstan's Roxana Yunyusova and Andrei Chichin who have taken the gold medal. Thailand will have to settle with silver. Kanok Napus, Kawachompu, and Ratan Adonai Wontana taking that silver medal with India in the bronze medal match. But what a battle there. Yunusova and Chin Chin from Kazakhstan taking the gold. So confirmation in venue that Kazakhstan have taken gold here, the first stage of the Asia Cup. In the compound mixed team competition. That's the uh, team competition sorted out. So the team medals in the compound competition have all been decided here in Taiwan, Chinese Taipei at the first stage of the Asia Cup. Coming up very shortly, we'll move on to the bronze and gold medal matches in the compound women's individual competition, followed by exactly the same in the compound men's competition. So coming up now, it's time to decide the individual medals 
in the compound women's individual competition here in Taiwan. A stage one of the 2023 Asia Cup. We're going to start with the compound women's bronze medal match. Time now for the athlete introductions for the compound women's bronze medal match. So contesting the bronze medal match in the compound women's individual competition here in Chinese Taipei, it's Kanak Napas Kao Chompu from Thailand going up against Contessa Lau of Singapore. Five ends of archery, three arrows per end, maximum score of 150, and it just builds through those five ends. So Kao Chompu from Thailand. We'll get the match underway. Long hold here. Ten. Worth it though. Nine. Just clipping the line for a 27. So a two point lead for uh, Kachampu from Thailand over Lao of uh, Singapore. Kachampu here though has had some experience on this shooting line, on this range uh, already today in the compound mixed team competition. And perhaps that's why that's, she's just had a, a little bit of a head start. So an early two-point lead for Ka Chompu from Thailand. Contessa Lau, Lau getting her first experience here on this range in this final setup. Only two points behind. And it will be Lau who will start in number two.
nerve settling first 10 there for the Singaporean. Pressure there applied uh, from now. 27 shot by Kao Chompu. And just like that, the scores are all level. to say that Lao looks uh, pretty solid. Took a, an end to get into the match. Saw some nerves from Kyle Chompu in the compound mixed team competition. But it's all square after two ends of five. Good start from Carl Chompu in this third end. Eight. That one's gone a little astray though for Contessa Lau. Eight. Just like that. Following suit into the eight, this time a high left. Nine. Still high, but uh, into the nine. Point lead established in the third for Kalik Napas Kalchampu here. Both of them shooting eights though in that uh, third end. A bit of a battle of the nerves here, and um, shooting for for bronze uh, arguably uh, tougher than shooting for gold because uh, you know if you're shooting for gold, you're guaranteed at least silver. If you uh, lose in the bronze medal match, you don't get your place on the podium. In number four here in this bronze medal match, and it's Contessa Lau training by one to shoot first. Another eight. Nine. 
That's better. Getting the height right this time. She's found the middle of the target. 28 for Contessa Lowe. And another 10 from Kawachompu for a 29. So they both found the middle at the same time, but uh, Kanaknapas Kawachompu having that one point lead after three ends. She's gone two points ahead now. One more to go. And you've got to say, as long as uh, Kao Chompu from Thailand can hold her nerve, this bronze medal could be hers. Pressure moment, no doubt, though. Scores confirmed. Three hours each per archer. Contessa Lau of Singapore trailing. Kanak Napas Kao Chompu from Thailand by two points. And she will begin this final end. This makes it interesting. Pressure arrow here. Puts it into the middle of the target. Looks like it's just clipped the line for a perfect score. Finishing with a 140, Contessa Lau. Nine for the shoot off, 10 for bronze. Oh, you can see the nerves at full draw. She just clips the line for the 10 and a 29, which was enough to take the bronze medal here. 141 for Kanak Napas Kawa Chompu from Thailand. Contessa Lau shooting a perfect 30 in the final end. The Singaporean looks like she's lost out by a single point. We wait for confirmation, of course. Uh, applause, but nervy applause. The Singaporean looks like she's coming over to shake her opponent's hand. And there we have confirmation that Kanak Napas Kalchompu from Thailand has taken the bronze medal in the compound women's individual competition here in stage one of the 2023 Asia Cup. And uh, there is the hug from the athletes. It was a close contest in the end, but uh, Contessa Lau from Singapore missing out on the podium. Kanak Napas Kalchompu from Thailand will be standing on the bronze medal step. Well, coming up very shortly, we're going to find out who's standing on the top two steps of the compound women's individual podium here in Taiwan. Chinese Taipei. India versus India in that gold medal match.
So coming up right now, it's the Compound Women's Gold Medal Match. Let's go down to the field of play. So India versus India in the blue shirt on target number one is Pragati. Shot a 691 in the ranking round to be ranked first. Target number two in the uh, predominantly white shirt, it's uh, Parnit Kaur, also from India. She shot a 688 in the ranking round to be ranked second. So the top two seeds after the ranking round made it through to the gold medal match. And it will be India on the top two steps. Panik Kaur to get the match underway. Eight. Low right eight. Not the best start. Both these athletes have had some experience on this finals range in the women's team competition. Both of them have already got gold here in the Asia Cup. So they both uh, end up with 28s. Interesting to see that uh, the Indian team, unlike some other teams when you've got uh, athletes going up against each other, both have coaches in the box. So despite the eight, Pani Kaur, with the very first arrow of the uh, first end, is level with her teammate in this gold medal match, and she will shoot first again in end number two. Bit of a loose one from uh, Pragati. Nine. 
29 for a 57. Twenty-seven from uh, Pragati gives her a fifty-five, so a two-point swing in the second end for Pani Car here. Twenty-seven for a twenty-nine. Number two, twenty-four leads again by two points. So, a bit of conversation between both of uh, the athletes and their coaches. Pani Car has taken a two point lead here, and it will be Progatti to shoot first in end number three. It's a close one. Pressure applied again. Good response from Fragati. So provision the eighty five plays eighty three. That first arrow from Pragati being looked at right now down on target number one. They've got that first arrow as an eight in venue for uh, Pragati. I've got it marked as a nine. So we shall wait and see what the target judge has to say. If it just touches the line, an arrow, then it will get the higher mark. In this case, it's an eight measured arrow. So they mark it with a lower score. Brigatti staying very composed. And confirmation that that first arrow from Brigatti was measured up to a nine. So 83 for Brigatti, trailing by two, starts in number four. Square again. And Pragati has found the middle as well. Pressure switches now to Barney Cow. Cow on for a perfect here.
It's going out wide, but a great recovery in end number four for Brigatti. Twenty six. What a difference an arrow makes. Uh, eight from Pani Kaur at the start of the fourth. Brought things level. And uh, now the match has turned around. I talked about how composed Pragati here looked between ends three and four, where she'd dropped two points to her opponent. But now she finds herself in the driving seat in this compound women's gold medal match. You can see now a little bit of tension and pressure to Pani Kaur. Just one point in it, so it's not done dusted. And sometimes, oh, in fact, a lot of archers prefer to shoot first in the final end. We've seen a three-point swing from ends three to four. There's no question that that is possible again. Pony Cow trailing. Closest to us will shoot first in this final end. Big scores required with these arrows to put pressure on her opponent. Straight into the 10. She looks relaxed and composed though, Pragati. Lovely shot into the middle of the target. Looked very, very comfortable with it as well. And we have all square again. So one arrow to decide this one. Longer hold, but puts it into the X ring for a perfect score to finish things off. And a 141 for Pani Kaur. A 10 required to force the shoot off from Pragati. And she puts it into the 10. What a final we've got here. A 29 from Pragati for a 141. It required a 30 from Pani Kao to produce the same score of a 141. And we have a one arrow shoot off. So now a handshake from the two of them and a hug. Clearly they know each other well. And uh, we'll have a little pause as they, they clear the targets. They put new target faces up uh, because we're gonna have one arrow here for this shoot off. Pony Cow are going to shoot first. And the reason for the clean target faces is just in case they're super, super close, uh, the target judge will bring out a measure and doesn't want any other holes in the target uh, to distract them from the measure. All very relaxed on the shooting line, but this is a pressure moment for these two. Gatti clearly happy to enjoy the support from the crowd and uh, being entertained, but staying very relaxed. On the other side of the shooting line, Honey Cow trying to stay completely focused. So one arrow to decide the compound women's gold medal match in this all Indian affair. And it's Honey Cow to shoot first. High nine, very central. Pragati 
has space though to take gold. Now that's a low left nine, but for me on first sight, that looks just a little bit closer than Pregatti's. We shall see though. Target judge has to go and have a look at this. It's all smiles on that, that side of the shooting line, which is a, surely a big indicator when you saw the face of Pani Cow who fought her way back into the match, having been two behind. And it is Pragati from India who's taken this one in the shoot-off. It was a tense battle. She came from behind after dropping three points or a three-point swing in the fourth, leveled things up in the fifth, but uh, in the end has to settle for silver as Pragati from India, her teammate, takes the gold in a shoot-off. So we've had the team medal matches sorted out. Coming up very shortly after the women's individual competition has been concluded, we're going to have the men's bronze and gold medal matches. Okay, so now we are going to interview the gold medalist of the compound women, the archer from India. Uh, on my left hand side is the archer from India, uh, Parkati. Pragati. Parkati. Okay, so how do you feel about winning a gold medalist? We had a good experience, tha. actually. Uh, it was not the first time. And it was very good to win, the experience was very good. The wind was also very challenging, tha, but I accepted. Mm. Are you satisfied with your performance today? Uh, not satisfied, nahi, but aur kar sakti hu, main I'll try my best in the next trade mm. time. If there's a chance to compete again, what would you like to do better? Uh, actually, I need to come, shoot, shoot better. I'll practice more and more. Mm. Practice jada se jada karungi, result milega. Okay. So, so like, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for uh, watching. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, you might have just caught uh, Pragati saying that she wanted to speak in Hindi. In fact, she gave us both Hindi and English. Interesting, having taken the gold in the compound women's team competition and in the compound women's individual, that she said she wasn't happy with the shooting. That, that just goes to show uh, the measure of perfection that these top archers go after. I'd certainly be satisfied with two gold medals from this competition. So women's competition, uh, individual competition now done. Coming up. Next, it's the men's individual bronze medal match, followed by the gold medal match. Coach is out for the bronze medal match. So coming out very shortly will be the contestants for the men's individual. Let's go down for the athlete introductions.
徐雨桥。So there we have it, the contestants for this compound men's individual bronze medal match. Paul De La Cruz from the Philippines is taking on Mode Mazuki from Malaysia. So it will be the Malaysian to shoot first. Very, very close to the 20 second countdown there. Bit of a longer hold there from De La Cruz. <laughs> Solid start there from the Malaysian. Ten for twenty-eight, but uh, the Filipino athlete trailing by a single point after the first end, and uh, of course, uh, Mizuki here has had some experience out on this uh, finals range already, having shot in the team competition, taking gold with teammates uh, Araf and Arafin. Some of you may have noticed he's got the name Jawadi on his back. Well, his full name is Mizuki Mode Jawadi. So ranked second by the Malaysian athlete after the ranking rounds, shooting a 6.94. De La Cruz just three points behind in the ranking round with a 6.91 ranked fourth. It's time for the second end. And Paul De La Cruz, who took a little bit of time to get into the middle, did find it. We'll start this second end. Smile well, doesn't quite tell the story, does it? A big opportunity for Mizuki. So the height corrected, still just a little left. Another 29 
for a 58 and a four point lead for Mizuki. Tricky first arrow in that second end from De La Cruz. Got to put that error down to um, a process failure or lack of concentration because the wind has really died off here. Sometimes having a big lead, though, brings pressures of its own. And number three, Paul De La Cruz ready to go. Trailing by four. That's three in a row. the line there for a perfect 30. What a response from him. Another 29. Consistency, the key. And uh, I've got it down as a uh, 83 on the scoreboard. I've got it now as an 84 for Dela Cruz. But that last arrow could well have been called a nine. So uh, we wait to see what the target judge has to say. An 87 for Mode Mizuki, though, looked uh, a pretty solid call. Dropping a seven in that uh, second end made things difficult for Dela Cruz. After confirmation of the judge, number one, shoot 10, 10, 10. Perfect score. Two, shoot, so it was a perfect for uh, Paul Dela Cruz, a 29 for Mode Mizuki. So the gap closed by one, but there's only two ends remaining. In the form that Mode Mizuki is in. Even if De La Cruz was to shoot two perfect scores in the final two ends, there's no guarantee he's going to close the gap. It will be De La Cruz from Philippines to get this fourth end underway, though.
So 29, following that 30. It's a close one. That last arrow, we'll wait to see confirmation of the score there, but it's either a 116 or, as we've got it on the scoreboard, a 117 for Mizuki. Uh, so either way, he's either held that three-point lead or taken it back up to four. And uh, that is a commanding position to be in with just three arrows left in the final end. So it was indeed a perfect from uh, Mode Mizuki for a 117 plays 113. And the Malaysian very much in control of this match now. So final end of the compound men's bronze medal match. Paul De La Cruz from the Philippines is on target number one, trailing by four. He shoots first against Mode Mizuki from Malaysia. Here, the wind picking up a tiny bit. Well, very much looking like Paul De La Cruz is just shooting for score now. Gets the 10 to finish things off nicely for a 28. And a one forty one. And drifts out to the left, uh, but it gets a nine for another twenty nine. And a brilliant performance from Mode Joadi Mizuki for a one forty six versus one forty one victory. And with that. The Malaysian takes the bronze medal here in Chinese Taipei. So great stuff there from Mojawadi Mizuki from Malaysia, winning the bronze medal match over Paul De La Cruz from the Philippines, 146 to 141. And there's just one match remaining in this first session of two today here in Chinese Taipei, and that's the compound men's gold medal match coming up very soon. Let's welcome 
judge and coaches to the field of play. So coming up now, the last of our matches here in session number one of stage one of the Asia Cup in Chinese Taipei. And it's the compound men's individual gold medal match. It's time to welcome the athletes to the field of play. So India guaranteed gold and silver in the compound men's individual competition. Priyanch shooting on target number one. Number one seed after the ranking round with a 696. Goes up against this man, Pawan Gat, who shot a 687 in the ranking round to be ranked sixth. So India versus India for gold here in Chinese Taipei. Gat to get this gold medal match underway. So a 29 set by Gat. And uh, you can see the little grimace on the face of uh, Priyanch. Also putting down a 29. A 30 was available to him, having shot two 10s, but 29 apiece. And both these athletes are just uh, well, an hour, not even an hour ago, lined up together to take silver in the compound men's team competition so both have experience of this range with the cameras pointing at them and it's a very high quality start Priyanch a gat 29 29 with four ends to go shooting line will resume the match Yeah. Yes. 
Number 29 for Cat. There's a bit of pressure on that shot, but another 29 from uh, Prianch. Again, we get to look at the styles, the different uh, processes the athletes go through. And how about Gat? Prianch here has a, a fairly orthodox approach, comes from high to the full draw. It's the beginning of the process for Gat that's interesting for me. I don't think I've ever seen uh, an athlete rest the bottom of their bow on their front hip before they go through the drawing process. Works for him though, level with uh, his teammate. He'll shoot first again in the third end and, and see if you can keep an eye out for that strange movement at the beginning. There, the resting on his hip before he rises. Now, he shot two nines at the start of the first and the second. Nine. They were high. He shot another nine, but this time it's low. So uh, the third 10 start from Prianch. Hey. So following the same pattern, 9, 10, 10, he shot Gat in the first two ends. Called for a measure by the stadium announcer. Looked to nine to me. And he has converted the perfect here, Prianch. So an 88 for him. So I called it a, a 10 for Gat, the last arrow in venue. Wait for the measure here. This is uh, critical. Is it going to be a one point difference? Or a two-point difference. For sure, Prianch is going to lead. And it was called a 10 in venue for another 29 from Gat. But uh, he now trails because of the perfect score from Prianch. Switches back to the other side. That's all he can do. Crouch just to hold his nerve, just maintain the process, forget about the score. Another X from him. So are we going to get the high pressure finish that we all want? Needs a 10 from Gat, really. And drops it into the eight. So opens the door, a 115, a 28 in that set. 
And as you can see, space here. Eight or more for gold, and he puts it into the nine for a 29, and that is more than enough for 117 to 115 victory in the All Indian Fair. Prianch coming out on top with gold here in Chinese Taipei. Pawan Gat, his teammate, will have to settle for the silver medal here. I say that we've got one more to go. <laughs> it's uh, 115 plays 117 after four, but uh, that is a big swing now for the uh, uh, for the athlete in the white Indian shirt, Prianch. So he just picked up one point in the third, opened it up to two. So Pawan Gat. Despite me calling him the silver medalist, has three more hours to go. And he's got to start as he did in the fourth with another 10, really. Does just that. Three twenty nines and a thirty for Prianch. Hey. So two tens as he did in the fourth. Nine. Mm, does that open the door? Last arrow for Gat, for sure this time. <laughs> and it does indeed finish with a perfect and a 145. So a nine for the shoot off, a 10 for the outright win. And he puts it into the nine. So the match isn't over just yet. Of course, we have to wait for that confirmation from the target judges, but uh, what a turnaround there. A perfect score from Gat, having shot uh, three 29s and a 28 in the fourth, recovered with a 30 in the fifth, and uh, a first 28 for Prianch in the last. Shows just how much pressure uh, that last set lead can have on you, leading by two going in to the last end, I should say. And uh, Prianch somehow dropped two points for the first time in an end. And uh, we go to a one arrow shoot off. It will be Pavan Gat who will shoot first. Of course, right now they are changing the target faces. It needs to be a reset for Prianch. He looks solid and in command throughout the gold medal match. But uh, gutsy performance from Gat forced the shoot off. And we will have one arrow to decide who takes the men's compound individual gold medal match here at the first stage of the 2023 Asia Cup. So this is it. One arrow to decide who's going to take men's individual compound gold. Pavan Gat from India will shoot first. Just top right of the X ring. Drops it into the nine, and what a turnaround in this match. 
It all happened in the fifth and final end. And a shoot-off force by Pavel and Gut. Gutsy performance to get to that point. And then shoots a brilliant arrow in the shoot-off to take the gold medal here in the compound men's competition. What a thrilling end to uh, the action on the range uh, in this first session of two today here in Chinese Taipei. Not done just yet because uh, hopefully we're going to get a word with Pavel and Gat. So confirmation that he had to fight hard to force the shoot off, then shot a brilliant final arrow to take the gold. Pavan Gat from India confirmed as the winner here of the compound men's individual competition. Well, sporting handshake there from uh, Priyanch. He'll have to settle for silver, but power and gap, what a performance. Can't wait to hear what he has to say, and that interview will be coming up very shortly. Okay, now we are going to interview the gold medalist at the compound men event. And the archers, and the winners is the archers from India, Pawan. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, first, now let's talk some things about the match today. So, how do you rate your performance today? This performance was very good because it was my first international tournament. इसलिए मेरे को आज बहुत खुश हो रहे हैं और कोच साहब की वजह से और भी अच्छा लग रहा है। He said that he rated his performance very well because this was the first time that Pawan is participating as a cadet archer, participating in the Asia Cup, which is a senior event, and he won the gold medal. He's very proud of that. Okay, so um, final is always a uh, one more step to be the champion. So, um, do you feel uh, very nervous before the game? आपको नर्वस लगा गेम में नहीं नहीं नो ही फेल डेट ही वाज नॉट एट ऑल नर्वस ही वाज कॉन्फिडेंट एंड ही हैड डन वेल येस्टरडे सो ही वांटेड टू विन द मैच टुडे सो हाउ डू यू फील व्हेन योर ओपनर इज़ आल्सो योर टीममेट कैसा लगा जब दूसरा भी भारती था बहुत अच्छा लगा मेरे को क्योंकि भारती क he gave a very good fight. He was comfortable because he has been fighting with the Indian uh, team members in the place in uh, Sonipat at the NC Sonipat. So he was very confident and he did his best. Okay, so the last question. What is your goal for the coming up uh, tournaments? Youth World Championship me gold medal. Lana. He wants to win the gold medal in the Cadet Youth World Championship in Ireland. Okay, I wish you all the best for the coming up tournaments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, brilliant stuff there from Pawan Gat, a, a youngster making his full senior international debut and taking the gold medal. Look forward to seeing him at the uh, World Youth Championships in the Limerick Island a little bit later on this year. Thanks for joining us for the compound session. Uh, coming up uh, in an hour and 32 minutes, 2 p.m. local time, we will have all of the action in the final of the recurve session. See you then.